So um, just to just to quickly set a little bit of backdrop for those who are not familiar with this um, with the work that I do. So LPM stands for Lean Portfolio Management. It is a process to um, to implement LPM. There are actually six steps in LPM implementation, and the operate step is the fourth step. And at the beginning of the journey, when we started to started to talk about this, what we wanted to be able to do is provide real world how-to guidance on how to implement LPM because it is newer in the Agile framework. Probably within the last two to three years, it's come forward. We've provided guidance around it, but many of our change agents are don't have a lot of experience with it. And they came back and said, hey, you've done a really great job describing the why and the what. What we really could benefit from is how can we do this? So this is focused on the operate step. We've already released the three prior steps, the guidance around that. So the strategic performance objective is by improving lean portfolio management operate st step implementation capability for new agile change agents, organizations will benefit by having confident change agents to guide and coach key portfolio leaders and stakeholders through the intricacies of the LPM operate step. So the on-the-job beha behavior changes that we would expect to see is um, our change agents being able to implement LPM, the, uh, the LPM operate step with confidence. And then we also want the change agents to be able to anticipate and identify common challenges and impediments and implement proven fail tested strategies to help address these. And then we would also expect to see the change agents being able to build their network and community of other LPM change agents so that they can be mentoring, coaching, sharing tips, tricks, stories, anecdotes, and getting advice on demand as needed for any sort of challenges that they're having. We have more than these two personas, but we're focusing on these two personas for this. And the first one is Implement LPM Indy. She's a change agent. Um, she will, she's newer to LPM. Her charter is to come in and help implement LPM, implement this operate step, but she will exit after implementation and won't be there for the operation and kind of, you know, rubber meets the road of um, this operate step. And one of her challenges is that she isn't really experienced with LPM implementation, and then she will be pressured to quickly move on to her next agile engagement. And then we have Facilitates Portfolio Finn. He's also a change, Agile change agent. He's also new to LPM implementation. He will be co-facilitating implementation with Indy. However, he has to stay around and operate the portfolio. So he will be working through all of the day-to-day -day challenges that come with implementation of this step. And his two ch main challenges, one is that he's new to LPM, so he hasn't done this implementation before. And he also is responsible for the overall health of the rest of the Agile practice. So he has a lot of things on his plate and a lot of things on a day-to-day -day basis that he's responsible for. I didn't put in here some of the work around upgrade. A lot of the existing learning assets that we have in this space are fairly new. I did have identify some opportunity to improve some of the templates we have to make them more for me because they were, some of the templates we have are a little bit generic. And I think there's some um, differentiation we can do in those templates. Um, so you can see from the learning assets, we have, we do have a formal one. There is a two-day class with a third-day workshop to get people the foundational knowledge on LPM. And then the workshop is focused on getting started. We do have, from a social perspective, we have a community of practice. It's on our community platform. There's a lot of engagement there where people are out in the community specifically for LPM, are sharing a lot of different things, asking questions. Um, it, it has a lot of activity. Even folks from my company are involved in it. We help provide guidance and um, you know just share different things for people in the moment. And then we have, from an immediate perspective um, in social, we have a lot of overlap. And you can see from the asterisk that some of this will be, some of the things that we're providing will be tailored to the persona. Um, so our framework articles are really the, the why and the what. We have a number of templates that can be used. We have the specific how-to guidance. We've got story and practice videos. So people can be reaching out to those folks who have put those videos out. 
um, as they're going through and doing implementation. We have a number of practice tips. And we also have a bunch of information around common challenges and how to deal with them. And then what we'd expect to see from a transformation perspective and what we want to be able to track is the increased confidence that we expect to see in our change agents implementing LPM, and then also an increase in the community and networking engagement. So again, there are a number of things here. We want to see people really helping each other out in the community, posting questions, stories, anecdotes, things that have worked for them. Um, reacting to what people are doing and providing additional information and then connecting with other LPM change agents to be able to, um, you know, be successful in implementation. How we track these, we don't necessarily have a way to track some of this today. So that's one of the things that we are currently working on, um, which is a gap that we've had for a while now uh, that we knew we needed to kind of shore up. <laughs> 